This conference will now be recorded. So I request everybody to please uh, switch off their uh, mics and the cameras. At the end of the session, we can take the question answers, whatever you have, and uh, we'll try to uh, answer your uh, all the queries related to this topic. So uh, the, uh, in the topic of today's webinar is very, very interesting. Uh, improving OTD. So what is uh, OTD? I assume uh, almost all of them, uh, all the participants belong to the shop floor and uh, related manufacturing companies. So OTD means on-time deliveries. And all the companies are striving hard to supply or deliver the products which are the uh, goods, components which they are manufacturing on time. On time is on the promised time. Now, from where the promise time comes? Uh, now the promise time comes from various uh, parameters which uh, affect, uh, which are involved in manufacturing and uh, of a particular product uh, based on a lot of constraints uh, which are uh, there. So uh, I see some camera being on. Uh, can, can I switch? Uh, uh, can I request uh, people to please switch off their camera to get the better bandwidth? Yeah, okay. So uh, let's continue. Uh, according to me, the parameters which uh, impact on-time delivery, right? yeah. all the parameters which uh, uh, impact the on-time delivery uh, can be summarized in what I have written on the screen. I hope my screen is visible to everyone. Uh, you can find all whatever is written happening every day on your shop floor. You know, the order priority changes. There is a delay in material level, raw material availability. The machine goes down. Uh, machine is loaded. Upcoming load has to be diverted. You decide to work on the weekly off. Then normally there are emergencies. The CNC machine operator doesn't turn up. So what happens on the load? Or in the process, because of the engineering problems, there are few rejections. With all these uh, things, uh, or the impact which is not seen is on the delivery time. And the, when we calculate or commit a delivery time, uh, we assume certain things. And when they go out of your hand, the delivery time, uh, you know, uh, takes a beating. And then when the customer starts following up with you, probably you have no answers because you have lost the track. So another factor which is very, very important in defining uh, the delivery time or the deviations uh, coming, if any, uh, is traceability. Traceability of all the job orders, all the work orders on the shop floor. So once you know where my work order is, I can be uh, very sure uh, when my whether I'm able to, uh, I'm going to meet my delivery times or not. Uh, I kindly request everyone to please switch off uh, their uh, microphones. We can, uh, you know, always take the question answers uh, at the later stage. Thank you. So uh, on-time delivery is very, very important, which uh, will decide the efficiency of your plant, which will help you in generating the conf confidence of your uh, customer. Uh, I would like to highlight here, we have one customer in Pune uh, who is having around 10 to 15 machines. It is a job shop. Uh, Three years back, they installed uh, our product uh, solution plant manager on their shop floor. It took uh, a month for uh, go live. And consistently after the first one month, the, they have been able to maintain their OTD. And prior to plant manager, the OTD was 15 to 25%. This is their statement. And today they are able to maintain 85 to 95% of OTD. You know. This is a remarkable improvement uh, in the OTD because plant manager gives them the uh, uh, tool to address all the uncertainties in the process. 
so where all this can be applied all on machine shops across all verticals like pharmaceutical uh, engineering companies automobile companies wherever job shops are there wherever machine shops are there uh, wherever discrete manufacturing is there component manufacturing is there uh, die and mold everywhere where cycle time can be defined the start time and end time can be defined over there this can be worked out now otd depends on your ppc you know production planning and control so uh, this tool is basically for production planning uh, which takes care of your finite capacities which are available with the constraint capacities which are available considering those constraints on the shop floor a particular plan the resource allocation is done and based on that the delivery time is calculated and uh, in 90% of the time the delivery time is maintained once you go uh, as per the plan the delivery times can be maintained and the customers can deliver their products uh, on time to you know uh, the suppliers can deliver their products on time to their customers thereby gaining the confidence so uh, i have discussed with you the different parameters uh, I, I kindly request Mr. Raj Sindhoja to switch on, switch off your mic. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let's take uh, the next thing. What is plant manager? How does it help in improving uh, the, uh, the OTD? So plant manager is nothing but a cloud-based advanced planning and scheduling software. And uh, in the industry, it is called a scheduler. It, it takes input from the bomb recipe of the project, order or project quantity and priority, uh, priority, machine capacity, material availability to provide you with the expected completion for an order. Once these parameters are taken into consideration, a plan is made, uh, expected delivery time or the completion time. Mr. Raj Sindhoja, Mr. Raj Sindhoja, your, please switch off your mic. It is disturbing everybody. Okay. So uh, I please kindly request everyone, once your mic is switched on, it disturbs everyone. So please take care of that. So, uh, as I said, uh, all these uh, constraints and uh, considerations are taken into consideration before a plan is done and a completion date uh, for an order is decided. So, this means the scheduler considers almost all constraints of shop floor while scheduling. This in turn provides realistic delivery dates for your projects or orders. These are not based on hunches. These are not based on assumptions. These are not based on, you know, uh, past trends. But these are based on actual calculations, uh, actual plan, the real, which is the reality, which are the realistics. And uh, I'm not saying that uh, there won't be changes once the plan is done. There are changes, there the priority changes, some urgent order comes in, some uh, rescheduling happens. But if you reschedule a particular uh, plan, what is the impact of a particular order? because of that reschedule on the completion date if it is visible to me right now i can take that decision yes it's okay i can convey to the customer that there can be a delay of three or four days or i can give you a little bit early because of this reschedule so even if you convey this and uh, confirm this to the customer i think your objective uh, is achieved you know uh, there are some reports which come in Let's uh, go over to uh, how this is uh, achieved in reality and how the plan uh, works in reality. So I'll hand this over to Amol now, who will show you how to take care of uh, this. Amol, please take care. I'm making you the presenter. Yeah, thanks. So uh, thank you, Neera sir. So uh, welcome and good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. I am Amol Purankar, uh, product manager for Plant Manager. So as uh, uh, Neera sir has already uh, briefed you about 
Management Manager for improving the OTD. This is basically APS software, uh, advanced planning and scheduling software. And uh, this actually the objective of this software is to uh, improve on on-time deliveries. That is the first. And what are different uh, uh, factors which should be taken care of to improve on our uh, OTD? That uh, is automatically calculated while planning, while scheduling. So schedules and planning is to be done using this uh, plan manager software. Yes, definitely this software does considers all the constraints of the shop floor as uh, sir has already told like it does considers the constraints like whether there is a material shortage or whether there is a manpower shortage or uh, the uh, availability of material is at what time so all these constraints are taken care of and based on all these factors and many more all these factors the schedules are generated and based on all these uh, schedules the delivery date is uh, given by software so that your sales team and marketing team can commit to the clients that yes if i take this order from you i will be able to deliver this on this this date and based on this schedule this is our complete uh, plan and i will be able to deliver that so yes that is the first point that we can improve on on time deliveries using plant manager software second the important factor is the traceability once we plan the orders and once we have all the uh, uh, schedules generated and execution is going on in the shop floor we need to trace it out at what workstation at what time at what uh, uh, given uh, moment where is my order status and what is the uh, uh, wip is like and when it is going to complete so complete traceability even if we want to trace it out for our outsourcing operation vendor side if you want to trace what is the status at my vendor so that also we can trace from uh, this software so these two points are definitely important which definitely impacts our on time deliveries and yes the byproduct is by using and implementing plant manager software definitely you can improve on your production planning efficiency you can completely do your material requirement planning and you can take the complete uh, decision as we can say this is a decision support system wherein you can take any uh, important decisions whether to alter the schedule whether to go for change of priorities of orders and everything so as uh, you can see this is our landing page of our software the uh, landing page we can see different tabs like administration the customer section store section planning production quality some import export functionality and lastly we have uh, report section that is basically for the output we will be getting mis reports so admin section is basically capturing all the master data like you can see here uh, capturing company details the departments profiles shifts we can create machine capacities and capabilities uh, then we can create all the product masters like what are different sequence of operations and what are the you know, raw material required for the creation of that product and what basically it is a product routing so we can define that categories and product details inventory masters are there so a lot many things we can create using this administration so this is a master page how how we are going to uh, use it i will not uh, uh, go in detail in admin section i will just start with the flow so it starts with uh, the customer section once you receive the order we need to punch in the order in customer section so here you can see a page uh, is displayed which shows different orders which which are already uh, recorded here like what is my po number what is my so number what is the product code the product version customer name the quantity for which the order is received for what is the delivery date order status so these are the different orders already punching suppose we want to add new order here i can use this add order button 
Now I will punch in some details like PO save zero zero. SO number. I can select the customer from which I am receiving the order. Say site. I will define the product code. Say 65 is my product code, which is product type is automatically displayed, which is assembly, and the product name is say PT30 housing. So this basically this assembly and PT30 housing is the product under which I have three different child parts. So I will define what is the order quantity. Say example 30 is the order quantity. And as per PO, I will define the delivery date. Say I want to, as per PO, the delivery date is 5th of August. So I will input that and I will just submit. So our record is created for order. Once you uh, created the order, the flow is, I will first showcase that this is our PO. Yeah, this is our record. And as per PO, we need to deliver it on 5th of August. Once we receive this, uh, once we created the order, the order goes to the material allocation. So whatever is the uh, material requirement for this order, we need to allocate it from our stores from our inventory. So as per flow, this is order material allocation page. From here, we can allocate the required material to respective order. Just a moment. Yeah. So here we will see our order SO double zero yeah so here is the our newly created order 30 is the order quantity and in this material allocation page we can see different child order allocations we need to allocate material to our respective child orders as well so if i am clicking on this these are different child parts like 78 77 79 so if i open i you, if you can see the order quantity is 30 for this child part and I am going to allocate the raw material using this button. The raw material is SSG caller. The default stock is 1 lakh plus required is 30. Issued is 30. Now suppose if I don't have any raw material right now with me, the stock uh, default uh, had it been zero, what should I do? Suppose I don't have raw material. So what I, I can do here, I will allocate uh, this date whenever I'm going to receive the raw material. Say today is 21 of July, but today I don't have raw material for SSG caller. So I, I won't be able to plan uh, if I don't have the raw material with me. But this, this is not the case in plant manager. You can still plan the order and you can still schedule the order if you ha don't have the raw material. Whenever you are going to receive, say tomorrow at 22nd of July, if you are going to receive this raw material, you can click on this date and allocation date will be done on 22nd. So you can plan this order today, but the allocation will be uh, done today, but the schedule and the execution will start from tomorrow but you can still plan you will be getting actual delivery date based on the planning as well so this is how you can uh, go for the planning for raw material now important factor in this uh, plant manager one of the feature is i can be able to do the complete material allocation by single click I don't have to go to each and every uh, child part to allocate the material. Suppose you have assembly of 100 different child parts. It, it will be very difficult to allocate material using and clicking single, single child parts 100 times. So instead of that, we have auto allocation feature, which will automatically allocate material to the assembly order. So what I will do, I will just select here this order and I will use this auto allocation button. 
So automatically the material will be allocated to all the child parts and assembly. Once this material is allocated, then here I can go for the planning stage. So under planning, we have two sections. One is pending orders and in process. Under pending order, here the what I need to do or your planning team uh, need to do is to assign the machines and do the machine cycle times, entries, and different parameters. Now here, this is our pending allocation page, where in you can see customer PO, job card number, product code, the customer name, quantity, delivery date, as per PO. Some columns are blank, like expected uh, date and delays. If we look uh, to at our order, that is PO00, you come to know yes so this is our order po double zero the job card number is currently blank because we need to plan this order then this is our customer that is the order quantity and 5th of august is our delivery date now to plan this order that means pending ma so we need to assign machines to these orders so i will click for child orders to assign machines for all the job cards or all the child parts so i will showcase this first how we are going to assign machines 78 is our uh, child part i will click on this machine which will give me machine planning page so this is our uh, machine planning page we can say this is our heart of uh, plant manager uh, very very important uh, page here all the parameters like cycle time, setup times, operation dependencies, operations, uh, uh, different machines, all these things we can plan here. So you can define your job card number, say JC6500. Now here you can see for this 78 child part, it will first pass through rough turning, then milling then heat treatment, turning as a fourth operation and turning to as a fifth operation. Now, at any stage, if you want to uh, change the uh, operations or if you want to uh, alter the operations, you can do that. Suppose uh, the rough turning I want to keep. So I will use this operation required in planning or not. So that facility is already available here. Second, milling, third hit treatment and four, the turning. Now for turning one, say example, this is our in-house operation. The turning one is our in-house operation for which the list of machines are displayed. So on different machines, this turning one can be performed. Say CNC one, CNC two or CNC three, all these machines which are capable of doing this turning one operation. So if at any moment, if I want, yeah, I want to use multiple machines, so yes, I can use multiple machines or if I want to uh, carry this operation on single uh, machine, I can be able to do that as well. So I can be able to select multiple machine or the single machine. That is the completely planning or production choice. That is the first thing. Here you can see show machine information. So whether this machine is available or not. So by seeing this information, the machine availability is displayed on the machine planning page. So this machine is available <coughs> here. The machine is not under maintenance currently. So yes, I can perform the turning one operation on CNC one machine. Now coming to the capacity calculator wherein you can give the factors like efficiency factors, the parameters, the cycle time, like loading time in hours, minutes, seconds, cycle time hours, minutes and seconds or say unloading time. Even if you want to add some different parameters, you can add that parameters as well. So based on these parameters, once you get uh, detailing of this parameter, you will be getting a cycle time for one component. Here you can see the cycle time for one component is 15.50 minutes. So yes, this complete uh, uh, cycle time inputs can be given from capacity calculator. Then you can define the setup time as well. So what is the setup time required for that turning on operation on CNC one? You can define that. 
So once you define these uh, operations and parameters for turning one, you can proceed to turning two operation. Same uh, thing you can repeat for turning two. You can choose multiple machines, define cycle times, define setup times, and you need to submit this for each and every operation. So this is your in-house uh, operation planning. But suppose if you are any vendor uh, outsourcing planning need to be done. So example, I will just remove this uh, rough turning and milling. I will take up this fit treatment. And essentially this fit treatment is my first operation which need to be outsourced to one of my vendor. So uh, what if uh, suppose my all machines are completely booked and I need to uh, divert my uh, this operation to uh, my vendor. So how do I map my uh, vendor outsourcing process so that I can carry out my complete execution of order and I will be able to uh, maintain my on-time delivery. So here, uh, what things we need to uh, take care of is basically for hit treatment, add vendor name, the vendor name will be displayed. So all these vendor name are coming uh, from our masters, which we have already created in the uh, master tabs. So suppose hit treatment is to be given to Ravi metal. So I will select the Ravi metal. Then here some decision I can take. <coughs> the order quantity is 30. So whether I need to send the part quantity to my vendor or whole quantity, I can take that decision here. Then the order quantity, currently it is taken as whole quantity. So quantity is 30. And for Ravi metal, what is his capacity per day that we need to define? Say he can perform 200 pieces in 24 hours. So I will define that. And that's it. So your vendor outsourcing mapping for hit treatment is completely uh, captured here. Once it is done, I will just submit the data. Machine planning for first child part is done accordingly. I will repeat the process for this 77 child, second child part, and I will repeat the process for 79 for the third child part as well. So I have already created uh, that order here. Instead of uh, wasting time on this already created order, I will showcase that. Or instead of that, I can be use. I will be using this approve machine buttons. So when once uh, you have created the machine planning, the records are stored in the memory, and based on that memory, the software will allocate the machines to respective orders. So I will be able to do the machine planning automatically using this approve machine buttons. So once you did that, you will be getting a job card automatically assigned to this order. And now I will be able to plan this order. So I will just select this order. I will plan. And based on this planning, it will give, it will throw some delivery dates, the actual uh, delivery dates and the GAN charts. First, we will look for the GAN chart. That is basically the schedule for this uh, job card or for this order. So this is the format of our Gantt chart, which shows like uh, on the left side, different workstation, assembly station, CG is my uh, machine, CNC one is another machine. So under that uh, different machine, what are different job cards are scheduled that are uh, displayed? What are the duration? <clears throat> what are the schedule quantities? And the priorities are displayed. Say example, uh, the first, or we can go to CG here. The grinding operation is there and the activity breakup is given with timestamp. The task is grinding operation, the start date 24th July at what time and the end date uh, 25th of July at what time it will get completed. So pure uh, Gantt chart with activity breakup has been displayed here. Once you are okay, you can go for more filtering as well. If you want to search with the help of this filter, you can go with the job card number filter, SO number, machine wise, you will be getting Gantt chart, order wise, assembly order wise. So with that uh, dates, from dates to dates. 
if if it is okay you can save this schedule and then we will check what is my actual delivery dates shown uh, by this plan or this order so i'll just go to uh, that machine planning in process page and i will open that we'll check that order po 0 0 yeah so for po 00 the as per po the delivery date was 5th of august but while planning and while doing some assemblies schedulings and uh, using some all machines whatever is been uh, available currently based on shop floor loads and different orders which are running currently on the shop floor it is showing me that it will get completed on 13th december it's very very delayed 129 days delay so it is showing it is throwing me expected completion date is 13 and delay is this but I, definitely this is not acceptable to me i will be i need to able to deliver this order by 5th of august or say one two days here and there so how we can go and use and go for rescheduling or changing the priorities i will showcase that before changing uh, the priorities and schedules i will showcase what schedule is being generated currently for this order considering this 13th uh, uh, december date at the report section you will be getting daily schedule report and a consolidated schedule report <clears throat> Once, once you input the order, once you do the material allocation, once you do the machine planning, and once you get the Gantt chart, the daily schedule report and consolidated schedule report are generated. So this is our format of our uh, daily schedule report, which actually you your planning team needs to circulate to your production team. And based on this uh, schedule, the production team will actually execute your job, uh, uh, jobs which are scheduled to them assigned to them so what is the uh, format of this it shows the you know, job card number product name product code the details basically which is the operation what is the schedule quantity planned order quantity and what is the start time of that respective operation what is the end time and the status whether it is in time whether the, these are delayed so this is ravi metal this is basically outsourcing operation you can see it treatment machine so you'll be getting all machines scheduled, which are, they are scheduled today for CNC one. These two job cards are scheduled for turning one and turning one operation with different uh, schedule quantities, which are in time. So this is our daily schedule report. Now coming back to our uh, order uh, planning page, wherein I showcased you that this order, which we have planned is getting delayed uh, on 13th of December, which is not acceptable. So how do I change uh, the priorities? How do I change my order priorities so that I, I will be able to maintain my on-time delivery? So here you can see the priority buttons. So every order comes in multiple of tens. So uh, the 30 is the order uh, serial number, which comes in 300 priority. And if you check for first order, it is coming at 10 number priority. So I want to take up this order priority at number one. Might be any reasons are there if I want to go for reschedule because my customer has called me and he want his order to be uh, delivered urgently. If I, I, I have to now keep hold on some certain orders, I will keep on ongoing orders on hold and then take up the next uh, priority orders at number one priority. So there might be n number of reasons because of that, I want to change the order priorities. And so that I, I by changing the priorities, I will be able to maintain my on-time deliveries of my priority orders. So how do I do that? Say instead of 300, I will just type in nine, any number before 10, and I will be able to take up that order at number one priority. So here you can see, this is my number one now. I will be taking this order at number one. So now, after doing this change, it's very simple. You can see here, by changing the number, I am taking the priority of order. I am changing the priority of order. 
Now, after changing this, there are two, three scenarios which are going to impact. Essentially, what we are doing here, we are doing the complete reschedule of our all the orders. By changing the priority, this will not only impact on current order, this will be getting impacted on other ongoing orders. The schedules will be uh, disturbed and the uh, delivery dates will be disturbed. So before going for any change, I need to see what the impact is going on. So I will click on validate the schedule. So your planning team can check what is the impact of that on ongoing orders and the current order. So you'll be, uh, the software will give you the current date the expected completion date and the impact. So on this validate schedule, it will generate a temporary schedule and it will showcase you the details. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the temporary schedule which are generated because of some priority change. Now, if you look at this first job card, you can see the delivery date was 15th March now because of certain changes and priority change it is going to get shifted and the new expected completion date is displayed in red it is highlighting that means it is going to be delayed some in some cases it will showcase in green as well i will showcase that if it is there So some orders are getting earlier as well. In green, you can see. So your planning team can take a decision. Yes, after uh, changing of priority orders, status priorities, I can, what are the impact on different orders and the current orders, whether I am, by making this change, whether I am able to deliver this order on time or not. So yes, if it is okay with this, by looking at this temporary schedule, they can confirm the schedule and go for the complete Course reschedule of the orders. So, Amol, I'll take a minute over here. Uh, yeah. What this means, yeah, what this means, uh, people, is uh, the delivery time which is being calculated is based on a scientific uh, logic, is based on the available constraints and the available resources. Okay all has been taken care of uh, in uh, in this and then uh, the schedule has been given so uh, imagine doing this manually it will take a lot of time probably with couple of orders uh, it is easily possible but when the order quantity the job cards goes up to 200 and 300 trying to figure out the impact on each job card their delivery schedules will become really challenging and uh, you have seen here it has happened in fraction of seconds so we are not only automating the manual planning and uh, but also this is completely based on the scientific uh, uh, logic and uh, right away before even starting your production right away you get the completion schedule which followed correctly will absolutely honor your delivery commitments and improve your otd that is exactly what we are trying to say here Thank you. Yes, Amol, go ahead, please. Yeah. So uh, once we confirm this uh, uh, schedule, I will just uh, do the force reschedule here. So it is executing that force reschedule and making those changes to and apply those changes to all the orders. So in say two to four minutes, it will take and do the changes done so now you can see the change here the delivery date was earlier was in december 13 december now it will get finished by 31st of july itself which means four days earlier i will be able to deliver this order so this is the power of the software this is the impact of that priority change of reschedule. So yes, automatic uh, uh, change of priorities are done and then as per your requirement, we can do the priority change and then we will be able to go for maintaining our OTD. Now here, after doing, this, doing these changes, 
what are the impact on our schedule earlier i, I have shown you the schedule daily schedule which was earlier now after doing doing this change there will be a updated schedule which to be circulated to the production people you don't have to circulate that it will be automatically generated and by logging all the uh, uh, people through this uh, plant manager they will be getting uh, the updated schedule schedules automatically now you can see here this is the updated schedule so that they will come to know yes from now onwards i need to follow this schedule so these are in time in time in time so this is another feature then comes to uh, the production entries after doing planning and in process and order priorities then there is a production entry page once uh, your people has uh, executed that order daily production happened you need to capture the ready production somewhere so basically this is a daily production input page which shows the scheduled date say 20, today but 21st of july shift wise all shifts machine wise selection or job card wise selection is available and you can go with job card and go for search so what it will display what are different workstation and what are different job cards scheduled for today and the entries to be done for that job card are displayed so here different job cards are uh, different machines and activities are displayed here so innovative mode work is entry pending it is my vendor machine suppose tn tn is my in-house machine the entry is pending ssh 26 is my in-house machine turn mill is my in-house machine so all these entries to be done after completion of the production what it will show under that the different job cards say jc 6500 turning one operation the schedule quantity is 30 the production quantity after actual production quantity against 30 your operator needs to enter this production quantity against 30 suppose you did 20 or 25 so enter that 25 the it will go for then pending for inspection if the quality quality or in process qc is required then it will go for the quality person and then he need to accept out of 25 reject and rework whatever is the uh, rejection and reward quantities are there with different reasons so that that's how you can capture the complete production entries with actual production start time with actual production end time and then go for the uh, operator who did that entries or whether qc person or production supervisor and you need to submit so this is this is the way like we can capture the production entries here now suppose there is a scenario like out of say 30 20 uh, quantities are produced and uh, out of that 20 say 5 uh, 20 18 are accepted and two are rejected with any reason say piece is not okay or there is a minus size or whatever so two is uh, rejected got rejected so in that case i will be able or the uh, plant manager will be able to throw you uh, some feature like it will ask you to go for replanning suppose you want to replan for that two uh, rejected pieces or for rework pieces so yes you can go for uh, replan for those two pieces so that you will be able to uh, adhere to your order quantity obviously you don't want to deliver short you want to deliver 30 so two is short for so definitely two you need to mention so that uh, uh, also is taken care of in the software that is one part second part you can if if there is a downtime of uh, uh, so like machine downtime or say uh, second uh, might be reason that there is no material available and because of that my uh, actual machine time has lost or there is no uh, power available or there is no uh, operator uh, available i can capture those downtime remarks here so say tool change or machine maintenance machine breakdown or operator absenteeism so i can be able to capture those downtime and because of that my actual machine time which is uh, 
like uh, um, which has gone, I can be able to capture that as well. So whatever is time gone in operator absenteeism, say eight hours has gone. Say today for first shift, he has taken leave or he has not uh, turned. So I will be uh, able to capture that and I will be adding that. So the downtime of eight hours has been captured here against operator absenteeism. Whatever is the reason, like machine maintenance, whatever I can capture. And after that, then you need to do for, go for course reschedule so that that time is to be uh, carry forward in the next shift and remaining quantities to be executed in the next shift. Obviously, due to this, there is an impact on the schedules and there is an impact on the delivery dates, which will be obviously shown and updated to you by the plant manager. So here you can see this is, this is the rejected quantity. What I have told you earlier for this job card, two is the rejected and it will showcase and give you feature and option. Like if you want to create new order for this, this will be added up to the original order. And you can create these two quantities as a new order. This will help you to maintain your order quantity as well. So after doing this uh, entries, uh, yeah, one of the important feature of this is again, you can do all the transaction entries like production capturing, production data entering through mobile application as well. We have plant manager mobile applications available on uh, mobile application. Uh, you can do this all transaction entries. And the thirdly, even if uh, you want to capture vendor uh, managements like vendor material management. So example, this is the vendor machine. And for this uh, innovative mode, I have given this milling operation for nine quantity. So once I, I have given this, I need to send nine quantities to my uh, innovative mode as a some, uh, vendor. Once he complete that complete uh, operation as a mode work on uh, milling machine, I need to receive from that uh, vendor. So I will be able to enter and capture the end-to-end -end process of vendor management here, and then the respective operation dependencies will be carried out. So this is how we can do and go for the production uh, entries. And then we have the report sections here. In the report section for uh, different roles and for different people, we have different reports for management, for middle management, for production, for uh, stores, for inventories, everything is available. So here, was first uh, section is essentially for our management people, the order status report, which is available under this, below this, which shows like this is the order status, delay or early, the SO number, detailing of that order, SO number, job card number, root card number. This is basically root card under which there are different child parts, the priorities, the customer name. Here you can see, based on the production entries and production inputs, what are different percentage completion. Say example for this second uh, job card, that 20% production is completed. And what is the delivery date and what is the expected completion date? If we want to go for traceability of any of the order, if I say search here for GC 65, so I'll be able to get this one of the job card, which is getting finished before 12 days of delivery. So 5th of August is the delivery date and it will get completed on 24th of July. That means three days after and in details you'll be getting complete traceability. Details of that order, what is my SO number, PO number, this order is in process. That, will, that means it is in the shop floor. What is the product name? What is the original plan completion date? And what is the expected completion date? So that by looking at this, you will be actually able to commit to your customer. Yes, I am in a position to deliver this order on this, this date, on this time. Definitely, this will be able to trace you out. And more detailing, like what is the operation? Quick treatment is the first operation with on which machine, or uh, say this is a treatment is our vendor operation. So there is no machine displayed. Turning one is our in-house operation which setup time, order quantity, the production quantities will be appeared or populated after doing production entries. 
out of that how many accepted rejected rework the what is the start time what is the end time so all uh, complete traceability of your announce and outsourcing operation and the order status will be displayed in the job card in the order amal, status amal one minute amal amal yeah. one minute i want to make a point here so uh, you know uh, normally if your customer asks you uh, when will my product be delivered or what will be what is the uh, status of that uh, uh, my order uh, you normally have to call on the shop floor supervisor you have to talk to them you have to uh, understand at which stage it is and you have to do couple of phone calls to get that uh, information uh, what amol is shown you just now you don't need to call anybody you have everything on a click of a button in front of you if all the entries are made real time right time so the, that is why the traceability without involving the shop floor person who may lie who may try to hide some information the realistic information is available on your fingertip uh, just by clicking one button and that gives you the exact traceability and you have everything under control that is the power of automating the ppc department thanks amol please go ahead yeah thanks so yes by looking at this report you will be getting complete traceability of all your uh, orders with assembly orders with all child parts as well so this is one of the order then uh, we have uh, daily schedule consolidated schedule report daily schedule is for today's schedules sales plan commitment report is basically meant for the sales and marketing team so that they by uh, as nirash sir has told like by clicking on that uh, complete report they will come to know the order status and then actually they are the uh, front end of uh, front facing face of the customer so they will be getting all the information based on this report and they can give the updates to their customers even if uh, if that is to be uh, completely removed there is a important feature in plant manager you can you log in to your customers as well so by uh, logging by themselves they can check the order status in the plant manager so there are actually different reports available in the uh, plant manager as mis reports like planning reports are there production reports are there analytical reports inventory so if you want to go for a uh, look at how my machines are booked how, what are the loading of my machines how my machines are planned so machine booking summary uh, is there machine plan report is there in production report there are like production report daily schedule versus production report is uh, another report which gives you what are the scheduled uh, quantities for different job parts and what against that what are actual production happen till now so that complete report is there for traceability and for actual real uh, production information in analytical reports you will be getting uh, the uh, operator efficiency report the cycle time deviation reports so many reports are available in the uh, software as we are capturing all the data and we are getting information and assigning all the parameters the uh, complete reports are generated and your complete production uh, manual manual work done can be automated in this plant manager software so uh, that is it from my side uh, thank you the yeah session... amol thanks thanks a lot amol uh, thank you very much uh, i hope uh, uh all the participants have got a uh, little bit insights into what is available and what is uh, not available uh, so basically uh, what we have seen is uh, how do we control our deliveries by taking care of uh, different constraints uh, in the ecosystem like raw material availability unavailability of manpower machine capabilities machine capacities uh, then uh, various uh, other parameters which impact and affect uh, uh the in time on time delivery uh the committed delivery then the committed delivery uh, you arrive at by going through the scientific logic and uh, then you follow that plan and you can you know uh, achieve that so i think uh, uh, most of the things have uh, covered uh, if anybody has any questions please uh, this is the time you should ask those questions 
uh, or you can type that in the chat box we will take up one by one if you uh, if you have any questions please uh, go ahead and ask those questions uh Neeraj, uh, good evening good evening uh, this is uh, dora babu here from dubai how are you Ah, oh, Dora Babu, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm yeah, nice to you. nice to talk to you after a long time. Yeah, yeah. Dora Babu, I'm so glad you attended this webinar, and uh, after so many years, you have connected uh, with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do remember. Uh, it's a long, <laughs> so yeah, many yeah. decades. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah actually, I'm working for the oil field supply center here. We are basically manufacturing tools for oil and gas industry. Okay. Like Lumberger, Weatherford, uh, some of you, I hope you're familiar with the name. Yeah. yeah. So we are just planning uh, because we are also in the Oracle and all database that we are using. Just okay. I try to attend this so that uh, I would like to introduce to my management team about this uh, availability of this tool so that uh, may I, if uh, I request to schedule a, a part a training session to my team if possible. Yeah, certainly. Uh, so what you can do is, Dora Babu, uh, on your yeah. screen, you can see Mr. Nagesh Gord's number. He takes care yeah, of yeah, all yeah. our sales activities. You can note yeah. down this email ID and uh, his mobile number. Uh, yes. You can get in touch with him and he will uh, schedule all the further interactions with you. He can mm -hmm. showcase all the demonstration, the benchmarking based on your data. And uh, I can completely understand because Oracle or any other ERP software doesn't handle the APS, uh, the production planning aspect so effectively and into so much details, which we have yes. developed. This is our indigenously developed product. We have developed this in-house. Yes, yeah, and we already have 100 installations in India and two in Ireland uh, on this product okay. and successfully they are uh, using it. Anna? Okay, okay. Yeah, sure, and sure. Uh, on, on this uh, number, there is a WhatsApp. You can uh, WhatsApp your number also. I'll get in touch with yes. you. Sure, right. sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Thanks, Dora. Thank you. Nice to Thank talk you. to you for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be safe. Dora. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody Dora. else? Uh, anybody else has any questions, please? Or if you have any questions which you want to take up uh, later and you want to have this exclusively for your uh, uh, company, you can get in touch with Mr. Nagesh Gohart, who manages the sales of this product. Uh, Amul and Nagesh will support you in getting uh, through all your queries and all your questions answered. So, Nagesh can be reached on 771-883-1474 and uh, his email ID for plant manager is nagesh.g at plantmanager.in. So, I presume uh, right now, as of now, there are not uh, many questions which are coming up immediately. But I hope uh, you all uh, could get some insights from this session. I thank you all for attending this session. And let's close this session. Thank you very much. Have a safe... Uh... Thank you. Please be safe and take care of your health in these pandemic conditions. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Neeraj. Thank you, Nagesh.